I don't think any number of words could suffice to express our gratitude for your intervention, Lady Onarie. I'm glad the elves are soon to be united under a single banner again. Perhaps the cost will be compensated before long. I would also hope for it so, my lord, but we have to be realistic. We cannot win this war, and our chances of survival don't look good either now that our enemies are roaming and ravaging our lands unimpeded. According to Alinea, we are running out of time. For all we know, Uriah could already be on Erdia. I am truly sorry my vision can't penetrate the veil beyond our frontiers with the old Chaos Empire. There's no need to apologize, my lady. We are powerless against this creature and her minions. We might be powerless, as you say. There's still something I want to try. Phelan, you told me you had found something. Is it the journal I asked you to search? Indeed it is, my lady. There is an orc and an elf from the vast sea. They have spent a long time traveling through the chaotic southwestern region trying to reach us. We sent men in their aid, but the recent events within our borders have delayed their return. They found shelter in Fort Astar, near the now non-existent Glamdral Range. It is the location of our main southwestern host, which has been under constant attack by enemy forces as of late. We were meant to send in reinforcements to Astar. You can probably guess the rest. Of course. Nevertheless, I shall go there with Irelian and whoever else is willing to join us along the way. That journal is far too important to lose. I guess there's no point in stopping you, but I would like to remind you that we need more men and women capable of defending the city here. If Aravian's keep falls... So does the far north. I've heard the legend before. Consider this, though. What is the point of defending this place with a thousand swords if Uriah can blast the entire fortress to smithereens in a blink? I'll ponder that when I deem it convenient to do so, Lady of Light. I declare this council meeting over now. May the Lords of Light protect you on your way. Okay, off goes Tarankin. Elinia, I fear I cannot be of much help at this time. My people are still fighting the Chaos armies and doing their best to keep them away from Ralthin. I... Don't worry, Unari. I understand. I'm sure we will be able to do this without Ralthin's help. I'll see you again soon then, friend. It is time for us to go. But that your demonic ally hadn't been forced to leave us so soon, don't you think? How did you... Elenia, I am a seer. As I said, my vision is limited, and I can't help you with what lies within enemy territory. But the demon lord who helped you through this young lady's hands worked within our frontiers. I saw him, and I saw you. Why didn't you tell us this before? We thought... That the, that the Grand Council wouldn't understand? Yes, and that was a correct assessment. Especially now that Tarankin is Supreme Lord of the Argoith. He would certainly not permit this. But with Lord Arnesius dead, I no longer have any obligations to anybody, and most importantly, I no longer speak in the name of the law. There is something I must tell you before I depart from this doomed land. I listen. The night before the demons attacked this region, someone communicated with me directly. Someone by the name of Ergea, Demon Lord of the Storms. He warned me of what was about to take place in Relfin. He warned me of a portal to Kalari, built in Aran Balgur, a stronghold lost to the forces of Uriah not long after the fall of the Emperor. And finally, she told me to instruct the Lady of Light to meet with her in the Pass of Sorrows, north from Kalari Peninsula. She left my room as swiftly as she appeared, and I haven't heard of her since. Hanya, do you know anything about this Ergein? No, I, I'm not sure. I think I heard Alarin mention a demon lord of the storms once, but I don't know anything about her faction or allegiances. There's also this thing about working in secrecy since Uriah has turned rebellious factions in her favor before. Alarin chose to work on his own to minimize the risk of betrayal. Girl, if you had mentioned this before, I might outright refuse to support him. Of course, he remained loyal to his cause until the very end. I guess... I never expected such heroism from a member of the species Uriah uses to facilitate our destruction. 
My lady, I fear it is not my place to tell you what you should do next, given that I lack further information and haven't been able to contact or see this demoness again. I advise you do what you feel is right. The future is not my domain, and anything beyond Ergia is beyond my reach. The last time I was told to do what I felt was right, I ended up causing a catastrophe. Fair enough. Thank you for this information and your support, Valen. May the Lords of Light guide your path, wherever you plan to go next. Farewell, Lady of Light. May you all find your destiny. Okay, cut scene over. I could barely sleep on our way to Fort Asta. Perhaps it was because of this that I couldn't hear that voice again. It's otherworldly, intriguing voice. But this voice was not the one that attacked me in Kalari before. That voice was just as beautiful, but terrifying rather than calming. And when she taunted me again in Westmere, I assumed it was Uriah. Who spoke to me before Anya woke me up? Who could be interested in our success? Could it be the fabled guardian of the arcane flame herself? Could it be I'm losing my mind because of everything that has happened since Galas and Malkeshah woke me up? I have always been rather skeptical about these matters, but the little information we have gathered so far suggests that the Guardian, often referred to as Elo, is as real as Uriah is, or at the very least she used to be. But if she truly lives, why hasn't she helped us? It's evident we have not been graced by her divine powers for as long as we have existed. The elves of the great continent have had to deal with much misfortune throughout history, all on their own. But I digress. What really matters now is not whether I'm slowly turning into a deranged old hag. Hopefully not. But rather, what our current situation is. We travelled westward as swiftly as we could, with what little we had in terms of supplies and human support. On the other hand, it never seems too difficult to convince a Durvan to convince his fellow men that the Grand Council has fallen, along with all proper military order and that the fate of their country now lies in the hands of a few people led by a ne legendary elf, a mixed-blood fairy and a necromancer. The lowliest of individuals of any given species tend to be gullible like that, and that is obviously something Uriah and her minions knew. Oh, Argan, oh, I wish your charisma wasn't put to use by an evil goddess from another world. Leaving Huldinir Hills and all the destruction in the border towns behind, we promptly found a half-abandoned guard post beside the large flooded region carved out by the great explosion in Glamdral a little more than half a year ago. They informed us of recent skirmishes, an advancing platoon, and two refugees on a mission. Just as Valen previously assured us, they were still alive and in one piece. It fought Astar, and they had the journal. Valkeshar did an excellent job of instructing Kiara to not allow anyone else to access the contents of the journal, whatever his reasons were. Scenario 3 of Episode 3 of After the Storm Final, Amidst the Ruins of Glamdral, followed by the cutscene A Path to Follow. Nah, there she comes. Elinia, you are back! Is that the journal? That's correct. So, is that General Bardo fellow going to help us assault Aran Balgar then? Indeed he is, but not specifically because of my advice. He was already given consideration to the idea because of a rumour that's been running through his troops as of late. It appears someone successfully interrogated a captured enemy soldier and got some information about the source of the local raids and the ongoing invasion. What they know suggests that there is indeed a portal in Aranvalg. I shudder to wonder exactly how this information was obtained. I know from experience that the men in the service of the Empire are either completely ignorant of their superior's plans or instructed to commit suicide before being captured, and the sorcerers and demons are too powerful to contain. I guess now we should all advance towards Aran Balgir? Exactly. And we should be careful. The road to the south, leading to Aran Balgur, is said to be well protected by powerful demons. 
and there's also an enemy guard post obstructing up. Furthermore, we may stumble upon their main invasion army at some point. The only reason Fort Astar still stands is that they don't perceive Bardil's forces as a threat stationed here. However, the moment they see his little army marching towards their territory, they will not be as merciful. So it rests on us and our followers, I take it. Exactly. Okay, classic scenario objective. Defeat all enemy leaders. Elinia, Anya, Durban, and Aurelian have to survive. What have we got? So, there's General Bardil, who's sitting there. He's an ancient banner. And uh, Chiara and uh, Horro are there too. I guess I'm going to get to control these guys. Well, that'll be exciting. And look, a loyal wolf rider, a loyal spearman. Okay, so we've got Avralerian, a demon Zephyr here. We've got Theralia, demoness Zephyr. Um, we've got a Chaos Heavy Longbowman. And he, or she, can't tell in all armor, or they, is in a fortress, going to hire some troops. Over here we've got Carathas the Soul Hunter, with a bunch of extremely nasty defensive units. Including my favorite, level 3 drones. And there is some sort of potion here. Guess we'll find out what that does. Should start out by recalling some spam. But let's tempt this Zephyr. Oh, there's an axe there too. Interesting. Who uses an axe in this campaign? I guess we'll find that out. Okay, hopefully that's enough to lure you. Three very tanky heroes. Who can I now recall? Ah yes, Avethan is now a slayer. Um, amazingly, Avethan leveled all the way up from level 1 to level 3 last turn, so is now one of my most powerful units. In fact, the single most powerful unit that isn't hero among my troops. We've got Captain Crandall, we've got the Druid Eleuclea. So I'm going to recall them straight away so that they can provide support. Other than that though, I'm going to recall, I'm going to recruit some random army. And I don't have a huge amount of gold for this. I'm going to get a thug. I'll get a poacher. Over the foot pad for starters, and then we'll see what the enemy recalls, recruits. And so it begins. Okay, Bardil, Horro, and Kiara. All oh, oh, so many units have to survive. Okay, and I'll continue to control General Bardil and his troops until the end of the next scenario. These guys are tanky, but there are tanky enemies too. Can I lure out this chocobone during the day? Would be nice to think that I could. All I need to do is go onto this green area. Well, Kiara should be able to do that, and it's during the day, so... You guys come down to provide some backup. Bardil, what can you... You can't recall anything, that's not surprising. I can recruit orcs! Oh, I can have orcs! I like orcish archers. They do fire damage. Let's have a bunch of them. A 
Assassins aren't great against troops that are mainly undead and drones. I'm not sure demons can be poisoned either. Mm, yeah, no, I think they can actually. So, we'll have one assassin. I'll recruit some humans next. Bardil gives leadership, uh, which is pretty awesome given that he's a level 4 unit. Don't want to leave him too far out of the fight, but um, he's not fantastic in combat. He's strong and resilient, but that won't last long if he's surrounded by enemies. Not with that health. 67 for a level 4 unit is low. If you don't mind me asking, sir, are you sure about this? Of course I am. The Grand Council has neglected us for long enough, and those damn bastards from hell are getting increasingly bored of playing with us. As much as I find her kind disgusting, if the fairies' troops and power are as impressive as she promised, we'll recover our Anbalgur before long. And if there's a portal in there and we can destroy it, we'll regain the Council's blessing as well. Hmm, lovely guy. give as good as you get. Always get as good as you give. In that case, you gave as good as you got, I think. Alright, we can go and check this potion out. Examining the contents of this vial, it appears to be a potion of bloodlust, and there's enough to last us for weeks, too. It's said that just a few drops is enough to wake, awaken a warrior's primal instincts and turn them into an unstoppable killing force, which naturally doesn't come without some concerning side effects. Are we sure we want a bloodthirsty lunatic marching to battle with us? It may be too big a risk for us given our current situation. This potion will only be useful to someone wielding a proper weapon for close combat, and no, a necromancer's staff does not count. Okay, someone with a close combat weapon can become a bloodthirsty lunatic. That's cool. Maybe my loyal slayer? I guess it gives the berserk ability. That would be one possible sensible thing. Uh, you're not fast enough to help out with this combat. You guys both are, though. Oh wow, Durban. You've let the side down. Who wants the experience then? Thugs are more useful than anyone else. Get some more level ones and then get to get my loyals. Mm. There's a swordsman over here as well. Maybe Nal on the Elven Elvish Hero is the person to be Berserk, but generally, in general, the person who's strongest in melee should be Berserk, um, and that is uh, very definitely, very definitely my Slayer at the moment. This axe is interesting. Okay. All right, my Chocobone. Can 
Can I lure anyone else out? Can I lure this guy out? I'm going to lure this guy out. Or this guy. Yeah, this guy's the best bet. Wow, Kiara's so boss. Get these orcish archers down here. They're all quick. Every single flip is. Oh, you're not quick. Okay. Alright, let's have... Can we have wolf riders? Yes, we can. We can have an orcish grunt, just the one. And then some scouts. And what else don't I have on this team? Oh, he can't recruit swordsmen. That's interesting. So I've got the only swordsman I'm going to have on either team. Just have an archer then. Well, at least one of everything. Okay, green player doesn't seem to have a terrifying amount of troops. Purple player hasn't run out of gold yet. Elenia needs to go back to base. Go and check out that axe on the ground over there. Or I could fight the demon. And if I go for the axe, I will be out of range of these horsemen. Well, that's cool. This axe glimmers with a powerful otherworldly aura. This seems an unusual place to find an enchanted weapon like this, but surely its previous owner doesn't have a use for it anymore, right? A weapon like this could only possibly be used by someone well-versed in axe combat. Either that, or one of our undead minions, I suppose. Who's well versed in axe combat? Um... These guys are all sword. Durvin's a blade. I think this regular skeleton is the only axe dude that I know of. Oh, you can't decide which way you want to go. Alright, not much gold left, so I guess I should go for good recalls. friend of a very good recall and I'll have Laria the fire fairy because she's on the cusp of becoming something greater and I think a wraith is never a bad bet in this kind of scenario and that's all our gold and we're on zero income so that works out well
Let's... Lord Nahamoth demands the blood of the northern scum. Charge! I remember that name. I believe it's one of the fiends of the Iron Triad. Yep, Shaxthal Warlord, as I recall. So, the rumors of Lauren heard are true? That guy is said to be the least competent demon lord of all. And yet Uriah trusts him over most for some reason. We'll soon see how competent he is on the battlefield then. Ugh. Okay, good work. Can lure you out. And you. with expendables. Bardil 2 is going to run out of Filthy Luca. Good, three units aggroable. So, I have to think carefully about what I recruit. Whatever it is, I can probably have another Orcish Assassin. They are useful in a pinch. And I think maybe a scout, an archer, and a spearman. Oh, that was an orcish archer. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, it looks like Rash, my rash decision, is going to be with us. And I'll have a spearman. And now Bardil can uh, step out to attack. Take a level one loss, that's fine. Oh, the drones are moving in. Get off, get off that village. That's my gold. And once more, the Chaos Horsemen are just going to get killed. In advance of the main force. What else would they be there for, of course? Are you folks fast enough to... Why didn't I move Illinia last turn? Should have moved Illinia last turn. Fantastic, and hopefully now... Yep, easy kill for the thug.
to make sure not to get Anya killed. She could get a bit beaten up if she keeps fighting this guy. Then again, Dervin could get killed if she doesn't, so... Ah, uh, pants. Okay, well you're still alive, but you're slowed and you should die anyway. You can reach who you want to reach. You guys are useless. Yeah, we're good. Okay, blue team. It's the daytime and I've got lots of nighttime units. Woohoo! Um, gotta be careful here. Wow. Chokob owned. Points for a level 2 unit. Okay, you are strong and resilient. Still. Okay, we got a poison demon. You folks can't really range. You can. You can. If you go there, you're going to get smashed to smithereens. I'm going to stick this fairly tanky orc here. I hope for the best. have to do the same over here. dangerous to capture this village. <laughs> Don't really need to keep a defensive line up here. get around it anyway. But, well. <clears throat> Not the best defensive line ever. But it is what it is. Let's hope they don't manage to kill Kiara or Horror next turn. Okay, I did pretty much know you were gone almost at you there. God, 70% defense again, useless. Flipping drones. You got told. Ah, ah, level three drone. Not so much else back here, though. Should be doable. <laughs> Nailed. 
Everyone's going for Bardil. They don't seem interested in Alinea at all. Well, I guess some of them are. Some of the purples are. for you. If you want to stop these guys from coming over here and flanking, I don't think it will be good at all if that happens. Bardil's force is much weaker than the red one. Finding right. Good job. Do I want to lure out this assault drone? Can I send Anya and my ghostly over undead over to tempt these guys to change their ways? now to know what to do as blue. Retreat or fight? I mean, if I, if I take this first wave and then I'm so weakened that I can't really do much else, that's not great. There isn't that many units here right now. It's dusk. I feel like I should just take them on and see... Still can't take him out in one hit. You both are. Doesn't matter though. You can only reach the archer. Okay, you guys are really tough. Let's back up a bit on this side. Oh. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Horro. yourself there and don't fight. Uh, no one can hit the marksman. Uh, you could if you... Maybe it's worth it. No. You come over here and poison him anyway. Good. If you try that. Wah, wah. You'll probably kill this drone, but An incredibly that bad defensive position. I should have probably almost certainly retreated. Let's um, get Bardil on the way back to base because he can recruit some more units next turn anyway. You stay there. No one can reach you. You're a worry. You are. You're just level ones but all my level ones are gonna get Steamroll at this turn by all of these units that are coming. Oh, there, that's ah, no, Hamoth has shown up. Did we did we hear about when that happened? I mean, they said that he was, you know, he was in charge, but he didn't say anything. Well, so far, this hasn't been the horrific onslaught I was fearing. So I'm still not hugely confident in my ability to hold in that position. Okay. Good, I've distracted some purple. And all the damage dealt to Anya, she can easily regenerate. Not worried about purple, quite worried about green at the moment. I should have marched straight down the road, I didn't. the axe, you can't even reach this guy. Nice kill. If 
you can't reach anything, you can reach things. Oh, okay. The Forcer Drone could come over towards Nalan. Good kill for Alinea. Gonna have to watch out for this Magus next turn. Would like to be able to slow you. Uh, she could just get killed on the rebound. trying. Oh. Worst possible scenario. Yeah, I guess. I guess I somehow karmically deserve that. I don't understand how right now. <laughs> and you could just get killed, couldn't you? Can only forestall this by giving... Ah! by giving you nastier things. Ah, okay. Anya can try it. There we go, that's why I keep Anya around. And I can block Irelian. You could have survived a Magus and not die, so you can go there. You can't reach anyone other than this guy. I think this is fine. I'm only slightly worried if you die you'll go straight for Irelian. But then, Irelian has good arcane defense. That doesn't seem like the most obvious choice. Stay where you are and gain health. And you guys are, apart from you, you're going to be aggroed to the north, which is nice. And I think I can take those fights. I'll block off the fire fairy. Okay, that should be it for red. Now look, let's look at the rather pathetic situation that I'm in down here. Bidash, if you can get one hit, you will go up a level and be able to defend my flank much more effectively. There you are. These orcs level up so easily, that's one of the few advantages. Now it's night time. Bardil can't reach his base. Good kill for Relmanir, the loyal spearman. I don't know 
how far to come out of the forest here. kind of collapsing over here. Just don't want to fight this guy. I just don't want to fight him. Horror is such a beast, but he doesn't ha have much... he hasn't had much luck in these battles. So he's going to need to go back to this house and heal up, I think. House is dangerous because there's so many enemies around. Ah, so many weak archers as well. I think I could just get a little bit badly cleaned up this turn on this flank. Hmm. How much ground can I afford to give down here? Kiara is another unit that's best described as a glass cannon. If I flank her with these losers, then she's got no chance. People can't reach you anymore. Okay, good kill for you. You just sit here and wait. It's only the short dark after all. Um, you come there. These Chaos Marksmen are so OP! Level 60 health, they've got a massive melee attack, they've got an enormous ranged attack. Is there anything they're not good at? Well, good thing I've been able to poison almost everyone. I'd like to be able to attack with this dude and get some uh, kills on weak, get some hits on weak units, but there aren't any weak units around. I'm just going to put you here so that Kiara is harder to gang up on. Oh, and now Hamoth is coming forward. might be run 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 time next turn for my blue troops and uh, red might have to take the brunt Another level three drone. Oh. 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 
Oh, that was bad luck. Okay, I've mostly managed to distract Purple from being able to help out with the fight against Blue. That's something. So, you come and grab this. Ah, it's the Obsidian Battle Axe. Again! Add this in the last campaign. Now I've got it again. I'll increase all my melee attack damage by two and increase resistance to arcane fire and impact. Alright, well, against these losers, it should be pretty much a done deal, I would have thought. Okay, you can't do anything, apparently. Good to hit, you're well on the way to becoming a superstar. You want to grab the uh, bloodlust potion? Well, we'll see what it does. Okay, health increase of 15%, um, better resistance to everything except arcane, and a damage increase of 1. Fantastic. Move in on purple leader. Maybe I can leave my units that aren't Alinea to deal with this one, and Alinea can go off and join the fight on that side. Let's see how well you do first. That's more like the early in I expect. <laughs> Decent results. Loyal Swordsman. Thug. Pants. Anya. Oh, this isn't great. Maybe you go in first. Ah, ah, this guy's a beast. Okay, and the leader could be tanked out, and this guy almost. This guy definitely, if I get and yeah. Let's see if you want to come out. I don't really want you to die. Could just run away, but then that would put other units in danger. Oh, yeah, run away. I 
What are you going to do, Anya? don't really want to have you aggro any more units. We just hop down here. This bow is a very powerful thing, and I fear my thug is going to go down. In fact, I'm pretty much sure my thug is going to go down, which is annoying because he's close to a level. <sighs> oh well, you just say where you are then, aren't you? All right, blue, you run. Everyone, leg it. Except maybe a few sacrificial losers. I don't think you can really get away in time. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Try it. You just go and sit there. It would be good to poison a few more people. The uh, chaos units really don't seem to like that. If I can kill you. Ugh. Yep. Alright, but I've not got any good positions to do any poisoning in, so I'm gonna send you home. Uh, but I'm gonna get so badly attacked next turn anyway. Especially, oh dear, Kiara. Okay, who am I trying to fight here? All kinds of stuff. Um, there's no one-fits-all solution, so I think someone cheap like Orcish Grunts, because they are tough. So I'll just get as many of them as I can, which is three, and hope for the best. Because hoping for the best is a tried and tested Wesnoth tactic. just wandering around getting more and more poisoned while your boss comes. Oh, not my ghost. Well, that was weird strap, but it didn't pay off for me. Okay, my ghost's not dead. Purple seems to be bringing his units back. I think Purple realises just how completely up the creek he is. You're poisoned and on one health. But, you know. Always look on the bright side. I haven't left enough units down here to deal with this swarm. Here, I can afford to lose. You can. I can afford to lose you. You can't get the kill like that. Good, but now you've aggroed this doom guard who will come out.
Crap. Can I get the kill? Oh no, I'd have to be super lucky for that to work. And you will probably go back to base, I guess. Okay, Mr. Bloodlust, let's see what you do. Good job. survive with blue. I'll have to send a linear straight up there, I think. You didn't do too grand either. down here. Maybe Durvan better go back and help. Uh, but Durvan will be needed to fight in the north. Let's use Bardil's leadership to the max. First of all, we'll get another Rukish Grunt. Then we're going to perch you down here. No! No damage at all. Even Kiara can get experience and get leadership from this beast. Um, if she stands here, how, how likely is she to die? The other drone can get there, but this guy can get there. Well, that's more or less it. Yes, there we go. We'll do some blocking with these grunts. Nice. 
purple doesn't really say quoi faire. Too slow. Oh, but you're kind of too weak. Still, try it. Oh, you need two hits. That's tragic. Got either a guard or a long swordsman. You can both things you can level up. You can become the Torankin type unit if you become a long swordsman, so I'm gonna go for that. If you attack Tara, okay. 48 potential, uh, 36 potential damage, 54 potential damage, plus whatever damage this guy does. <clears throat> Could be if they all hit enough to kill her, but there's no way that they all should, so I'm going to do this. Okay, Mr. Berserkazoid is going to go over there. Grab this off blue, maybe? Blue could still use the income there. <sighs> yeah, I need to sneeze, but can't sneeze. <clears throat> okay, now Hamoth is coming. units. How can anything I have here stand up to that? You need health, but I can't put you anywhere where you can get it. That is very tempting.
There we go. Alright, blue. Okay, time to abuse Bardil's leadership abilities once again. First of all, you... No kill, interesting. Do I want to put Mardil himself on the front lines? Seems like not the worst idea in the world. These guys are coming, but they're coming gradually. Only you are imminently going to be there, and you could go over there instead. Ah, there is karmic justice after all. Can Horro get over there? No, he can't. Not quite. Well, it's a shame that you are such a tempting target, but maybe you won't die. But you shouldn't. Not to him. I'm more worried about Narhamoth and what he'll do when he gets there. healing. Okay. What the hell do I do about Nilhamoth? <gasps> well, that was a miscalculation. Get back. Ah, <laughs> oh, how can one level one dude be so hard to deal with? some serious carnage. <gasps> you come back to help. I mean, actually now, the situation doesn't look so bad on this flank, other than flipping Nar Hammer. Nah, 
We've only got 14 turns left. Is close enough to join the fight. It's not quite going to get chocker boned. Okay, Durvan is closest. Over here. You need health, you can get that from being next to Alinea. Without being attacked, you're almost useless, but you can attack this Elvish hero in the woods. I'm okay with you doing that if you really want to. And that's the red player. Blue player. Ooh. You won't do six damage. So let's see what happens when a thoroughly expendable unit attacks Nahamoth. <laughs> so you finally decided to challenge me directly? Hopefully this will be an entertaining fight for the glory of the mother of Uvatha. Die, pathetic Erdian rats. Die! <clears throat> okay, well, there's some dialogue, but it doesn't <laughs> help me much. Okay, you're looking useful, so you shouldn't run away too quick. You're almost on full health now. You should be able to get someone useful. Mm. What resistances does Nahamoth have? Okay, Arcane and Fire he's not fantastic against. Assassin. No, Hamoth is at least very slow. Oh! 
far better in this fight than I have any right to be. Poor old Illyrian will get slaughtered in combat if she faces up. Don't want to lose Rogar. Illyrian, you can jump around here. This time, not quite miss with either, both your attacks. Uh. Now we've got a bandit, that's going to help in this fight. I'll need to get the zone of control. Do that with this skeleton and with Anya. Fight. No, you could easily be killed this turn. You go over there, you come over here, and then I think next turn I'll be in a position, even though it'll be night time, but I've got powerful units at night time as well. Okay, gotta kill this guy, gotta kill this ray blade. do one less strike than normal okay you can't quite you're you're tough but you can't take on the hamoth i'm gonna need a linear to help out with that one so i think i can leave these ghosts to take care of this one guy Nahamoth cannot do is regenerate or heal apparently. That is handy. Let's get the unit description again. Yeah, no healing. So maybe if I could just hit him with enough stuff. And he's really slow. So we can't reach horror if we put horror here. You can grab out and yoink. You must die. You must die. Uh, how, do you, how have you got a ranged drain attack? That's just not fair. I can't even flip and poison you because you're biomechanical. I'm just going to leave you there. Yeah, 
if he ranges you, there's nothing I can do. And first I want to recruit another grunt. Then I can do that. See if I can take out this longbowman. You're not even close. Good job. You range it. there. Okay, I've got a shade, and I've defeated that leader. Can lure out this other Arbalestia with Anya. And you, I didn't need you after all. You can go back to the main fight. Oh, what a waste of time. Maybe I should just push these guys should just push straight down and kill this leader. Maybe I can do this whole thing without even bothering with Nar flipping the hammer. That was crummy. That was crummy too. Okay, you're gonna get killed next turn. No, because Alinea can come and save you. Unless I need Alinea to fight and I'll have off, but I don't even know how. I mean, I don't even know. If, I don't even know what I should be doing to kill this guy, if it's even possible. Level five. I'm using my weak player with not much in the way of support. I'll need to head up there and try anyway. Even Durvan's slow ability is going to be of a limited use here. Okay, I got a fair bit of healing. Um... I guess I should just chain melee attack with as many people as I can. <coughs> oh, well, it didn't go too badly. You are just gonna poison, hope for the best. Just warming up. Now let us see if you can handle this. Oh come on, that's just cheating. <laughs> yep, that is totally cheating. What what is this fight? This is so stupid. Okay, Bardil, you run away, because if anyone breaks through the lines, I don't want you getting attacked. You can run and get this house. And 
The other green troops coming my way are not a problem at all. It's mostly only Nahamoth that I'm worried about. Maybe I can just gang up with enough troops next turn to deal a sucker punch. Down goes another grunt, and another grunt. Oh shit. There's a unnecessarily leave a ghost. Anya doesn't perform too great either. Well, it doesn't bring him back. Who can reach? Pretty much no one. You can, just. literally just noticed that he could get killed on the rebound from these guys. These guys should not have melee attacks that are that powerful. Well, that was good at least. Once again my abilities at uh, keeping outlaw line units alive are not too impressive. Alright, this heavily weakened force can now head south. Try and. Oh, there's still like a level 3 demon around here and stuff. Um, two level 3 demons, lovely. Okay, and I've got Narhamoth basically being a huge pain in the ass on the northern flank. Let's bring him over here. Elinia has actually money now, so she could recruit. If you get meleeed by Narhamoth, it's pretty much game over for you. Although you might take him down, or at least give a good chunk out of him. So just stay out of the way. Stay where you are. And you come over here. Okay, blue is not looking in a strong position here. Worried for this crossbowman now.
I'm this guy, actually. He's doing so... If he can survive an attack by another Hamoth, he'll level. That would be awesome. Oops, do you really want to do that? You could go down there. No, I'm going to do that with someone else. So much damage! Oh, it's a really triple parasy. Okay, there's my loyal troop. And now, now Hamoth is in the ramparts, which is just great. And I can't get in on him with Alinea's troops because he's surrounded by the blues. I've got the bloody blues. At least I can make sure that everyone around him is a goner. these houses much as well. Is there anything else coming north? No, there isn't. Interesting. Oh, you grab that. Good houses over here. When this one's ready, it can go. So I'll just pop you on there, and then you can pop out up here, hopefully, in my next red turn, and help me with the Nahamoth problem I'm having. into the water. Probably not much. You want to go and get some troops. It's very bad to attack you with Kiara because you can drain the shit out of her and she doesn't do much damage. Why do you do so little damage? Oh, because the leadership isn't around. Sand on sand, in which case you're in a very unlikely position. You do not tire of combat easily, eh? I'm impressed. Shall we have a third round then? Will you stop doing that, you fiend? <laughs> Seriously? You can keep up. Alright. <laughs> you stay there and get the zone of control. You go up here, gonna get some more weak units. Orcish grunts seem pretty good for taking you out. You 
can hardly move. There goes my horseman. Okay, I can try and slow him with a linear. But it does very little damage. I think I'm probably best just continually melee attacking him. What I can do down here is use a linear on this bugger in the Mad Thinnick. Tempted to go for the Berserk option, but I, I would lose, I think. You're not going to do any damage. You'll do some, but then you could get killed in range, and I want you to survive because you've got the cool ability. So you come down here, not with this fight. You run away. Right, down here. I don't know what you're... you do quite a lot of damage at night. Now we're in the fourth watch, let's wait until... The long dark is over before... Um, okay... I've left this guy on, on the village, so I can, if I move him off, Tara can show up. Anya, Anya is her name, she can show up. In the north? Not sure what she'll do up there. Certainly not go in and shoot no, Hamilton, even when he's slowed. Though maybe, maybe killing this guy would be good. Killing this guy would definitely be good. I don't leave blue on these tiles. I won't, he won't be zone of control. Maybe I can leave someone here. You can, you can get there. You seem to be still slowed, which is good. I guess that only happened on Durban's turn. Get some of these guys in. You can run away. Because your efforts are futile. get yourself killed apparently. You can come around here. It's tempting to go in with the ranged attack, but I do think that I will, I mean, he'll gain at least probably as much health as he loses this way. No, actually, you stay where you were. He's so zone of controlled right now. 
No, this zone cannot be any more controlled. What I didn't do is grab this village, and I will do that now. Good. <coughs> Alright, let's fucking go. <laughs> um... Do I have anyone who can't be drained? No, apparently not. Ha! Your strength and resourcefulness have not gone unnoticed by the Guardian of Life. I too can respect an enemy that perseveres against impossible odds, Elenia Thanadria. Alas, that stubbornness of yours shall be your and your kind's undoing. Really? <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Defeat all enemy leaders. Maybe just keep him zone of control and run past? I'll try it. It does he, I mean he's a leader, he's got the boss icon, so but he's obviously not the leader of the green player. to have you as a death blade but no I want you to be able to level further okay now it's the morning I feel less bad about letting you come and melee attack someone so I'll come out here Alright, just uh, wait for the action to start, I guess. So Bardil and some level 1 orcs are going to stay and keep zone of controlling him, and everyone else is going to go south. Watch out for Durvan. He's not going to last long if he keeps getting slashed. You can actually move far enough to lure the Chocobo north and probably get killed in the process. Big strong punches. And now we're going in for the kill. Going in for the kill. Uh, 
Who do I want to get the level? Any of you would be good, really. Other than the Shide. I think it would be good to have a Forest Spirit before we go into these next fights. Can I lure you out? Well, you're faster, actually. with a wraith. Okay, you run away. something being slightly cheesy about this fight. Didn't remember it being as cheesy as this. Okay, let's get our blockers into position. Uh-oh. No one can get quite far enough round. So you're going to have to go and stand on this ground. Kiara strikes. You can unproblematically grab this house. You can follow along. Let's come here. Bardil, you just sit there. can lure you out next turn. What are your guys' defences like? Okay, you're not too defensive against against cold, but... Should lure you out. On the off chance that it doesn't, I'm going to put a Skeleton Archer there. There we go. Bit of a feeble showing there. No kill.
Ya sé, ¿verdad? Berserk Slayer. Oh. Rather subpar performance there. to you. Ooh, you can flip and hit you. Doesn't seem likely that you'll get the kill, it just seems like you wouldn't go to your death, especially if there's a three soul hunter down here. Well I can block that with level what with units from the Probably. Oh, well, almost, almost. Okay, demon over here. This is not really my top demon killing squad. Stay where you are. Ah, uh, it's a good experience for you. Suddenly you're nearer to a level. I can try and save this guy by plonking weak units in front of him. Or in one case, plonking tanky units in front of him. Dude. So what are you going to do, Mr. Leader Man? It's, you're all alone. this up. You guys are going to be virtually useless after having come all this way. We did distract, you, you did a good job luring out the enemy. 54, a measly 54. Okay, gotta make sure I do get the kill. Oh. 
Impressive indeed. Despite being such lowly rats, you sure seem to be capable of grand feats when given the right motivation. Ah yes, as that hapless bastard Argan found out the hard way. Would that we had not met each other as enemies in a never-ending war, don't you agree? It's just as unfortunate that my presence is currently required elsewhere. Stop him before he escapes! No, please don't. I shall eagerly await the day we meet again. Off he goes. Fleeing the battlefield seems a conventional tactic for the highest ranking servants of Uriah. While Hecuba did so in both of our previous face-to-face -face encounters as well. I don't think we ever got a taste of his true might before he decided to fuse his own putrid body with those artifacts. That may have been for the best, though. Perhaps... Still, I would be grateful if I never had to deal with the limitless arrogance again. Well played, fairy. Not only you deliberately misled us about your numbers, but you also omitted the fact that you consort with necromancers. This changes everything. Not necessarily. Today's events would indicate that together we can build a formidable opposition force. Is this not what you wanted? An opportunity to retake Aran Palgua, your former home? Is this not what your men desire as well? Or would you prefer to stay here and defend Astar against an enemy with a plan? Tell me, how many soldiers have deserted since the Glamdral incident? I specifically pointed out your deception. I did not say I would retract, and that's not an option at this point unless I were looking for a mutiny. I'm done speaking with you for now. Elenia, are you sure about this? You did admit before that your judgment might not be... I'm not really heeding my judgment anymore, girl. It's just a hunch I have. I have to return to Kalari and find this demon lord of the storms. It's the last thing I do. Okay. Uh, bonus skill 98 for Elenia. Bonus skill 62 for Bardil. That could be worse. Um, before I figured out that... <laughs> Nahamath was unkillable. I uh, lost a lot of units, including a loyal, which is a shame, and some experienced ones, but uh, could be worse. Just looking at the statistics, um, um, we can only see a linear statistics, but that's what I want to see. So we've got a longswordsman, we've got a bandit who died um, stupidly in melee against an archer. They got a shide, we got a forest spirit, we got a revenant. Well, I can always level up more bandits. It just takes a while. So I lost the bandit, footpad, ghost, and poacher. It's kind of an expensive turn, and uh, financially it's not the greatest, but yeah, I don't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth, and we will gladly leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time.